Hello everyone, welcome to the ninth video to beginner's guide on how to Revit. Today, I'll explain some interface Revit has. Let's start in the view control bar. First, this allows us to control the scale that we want. This is mostly used for documentation. I'll show an example. First, let's make a sheet. Don't worry, I'll explain this soon. For now, this is just a sample. Now, drag any view. As you see, it doesn't fit, but if we change the scale, There. So, your documentation is going to look something like this in XAMPL. Something this simple is the use of the scale. So next, we're going to check the graphic display option. Let's go back to preview. view. This one. Okay. So, the graphic display option actually enhances or rather affects the visual impact of our model though the settings are already predefined then uh, of course I'll show an example we're gonna go with wireframe as you see it's a very basic simple visual effect heat in line shaded consistent color realistic There we go. Next, this one. This detail level affects the display of the same geometry on different view scale. Let's try it in a plan view. Let's hide our link for now. Let's go back to 100. As you see, that's how it affects. Let's try putting a door. See the difference? That's what it does. So, all right. Next is the sun path. This one. We need to we need to do this in ready view. Delete this one. Ready. So, this gives you an example of what it's going to look like. So, let's, um, let's try to play around with it a little bit. Let's go single day. So, actually, there's plenty of options, but you can play around with it. There. So, it's assuming that this is the path of the sun as per the options we've inputted, as you see here. Okay. So... Let's turn that off for now. Next is the shadows. This just toggles on and off for the shadow, as you see. It's very basic and simple. On, off. Now, our next option is the render capability, which is this one. Now, this is a little bit complicated, but at the same time, easy to understand. So, now, this gives us the capability to render our model. This takes a lot of time, so also make sure when you're rendering to the best setting that your computer is capable of doing so. So, like me, I'm using a gaming laptop, so I'm more than sure that I'm capable of it, but at the expense of heat and noise. So, let's go ahead and try rendering. Let's use high only because if I click best, 
it might take 10 minutes to 30 minutes not entirely sure so let's do high and maybe it will take five minutes or less and render or wait all right review clouds sun only then render so anyway let's wait for it i won't fast forward the video so you can see how long it will take and you can see the process you can instead go ahead and skip in the timestamp below but i uh it's best if you just wait for it okay so it's it looks like it's going to finish in less than a minute i did not expect that Okay, so there's our rendered model. If you click X, it will close the menu or show the model. We just show the original model so that, you know, people can see what it looks like. And that's it. This is for documentation purposes. Some people use it for their splash screen. Others will send it to their clients for like approvals. Okay, moving on. Next is these two options. These two options here are actually the same. It's very similar to the crop view and plan view. In extents like this one here, crop view and crop region. So if I were to click this, as you see, I cannot see way past the crop view, but if I click this one, I can see past it. So that's it. It's just a, it's just an extent option. So let's turn it back to the way it was. Hide this one and crop view. Next is the lock view, which is this one. If I were to click this and put a name for it, say test view, I can no longer rotate the view. It will stay as this. Again, this is also used for documentation purposes. So if you want to go back to being able to rotate it, just click it again and unlock view. But what if you've unlocked this, you've locked this one, and you want to use another one, just click this button here again. There we go. Or this one, right click and duplicate so that you can have the same thing again. So let's unlock it again. Next, this glasses button here. So what this does is it gives us a choice of isolation or hide. What does it mean? Okay, so I've said before in previous video, you can temporarily hide your elements or permanently hide them in current view with a choice of showing them later. So let's try to click the wall. If I click here and isolate element, it will only isolate this one. As you see, it was isolated from the other elements. So to go back, either press the shortcut key or reset. Next is the category. What category means is its family or rather series of pairs. For example, if I were to click one wall and isolate category, it would mean it would isolate all the walls. There we go. Or click this one and hide all the walls instead. So all our walls are now hidden. So that's what this, this button does. Now, let's go back to plan view again. We don't need this anymore.
Let's remove those that we made that we have no use of. Okay, going back to ground floor. I believe I've said this before, but I just want to say it again. You see the edges, how it's a little bit thick and not that smooth. There's a thin line toggle button here that allows you to display the level of the line. So if I were to click this, it will become smooth and thin. But this one shows how thick it is. So I prefer to use this one all the time instead. Okay, so now next is the visual graphics override. The shortcut key for this is VV or VG. Okay, so what this does is it controls our visual options for this view only, which is the ground floor. What this does is it allows us to filter out an element by category, kind of similar to what we did before, but that was a manual. Now this is somewhat of an automatic type. If I were to untick the wall here, as you see, the wall is gone. The floor remain and let's do it for the floor as well apply now the floor is gone only the link remains i believe the structure column is still here structural column there everything's been hidden apart from the link which we can do as well here import category cad drawing apply Everything's gone. But if we were to look in another view, let's say the first floor, still there. Pretty, still there. So now we can actually hide this and the grid. How to do that? Again, VV. Annotation, grid, level. Now it looks better. Now let's go back to ground floor. We need to show them again. There. Next is the override capability of that option. Let's hide this one. Or rather, let's hide it from the menu. Let's do a structure column. Why is it blue? Oh, right. So ignore this one for now. I don't know what happened. Okay, so these are structural columns. Let's try to isolate everything. We want to see the structural column only. How do we do that? Isolate category. There we go. Now we only see structural column. Let's change this one. Look for structural column. Override. Let's reset this one first. Override here and cut. Why cut? Because we've actually cut it and we can see it from above. Hard to explain. I need to explain view range first, but let's do that in another video. So anyway, cut pattern, which is the one you see here above you. So if I were to change to pattern, let's say, let's use a different hatch. We can use this one, apply, okay. As you see, it changes, but like I said, this is an override. You're not changing its original material or content. So what you see here in ground floor cannot be seen in somewhere else. Like I said, it's an override. So let's, let's, let's do another kind of override option. This override actually supersedes the Visual Graphic Menu Override, if you click here, right-click, Override Graphic View, Elements. Now, again, in Cut, let's use a Solid Fill and any color. There you go. As you see, it overrides the override of the graphical menu. So, if you want to remove that and go back to what it was originally, right-click this one, sorry, select this one here, Element reset then let's go back to vv structural column to override 
that's it. Now it's back to original. Let's shortcut again. So I guess that's it for today's tutorial. In the next video, we'll be modeling our first floor. So for question and suggestion, please do comment below. And if you like this tutorial, you can help me and support me by liking and subscribing. I will see you in the next video. Thank you guys.